Maccabi Diva ready to race into the history books. Record crowds flock to Flemington for the start of the Melbourne Cup Carnival. A lucky escape as a plane misses its mark. And the Corpse Castle goes under the hammer for a hefty price. Live from Melbourne, this is 7 News with Jennifer Kite. Good evening. The question the whole nation has been asking has finally been answered. Maccabi Diva will attempt to win her third Melbourne Cup this Tuesday. And if she wins, she'll do what no horse has done before. This was the moment Maccabi Diva's dream of a Melbourne Cup hat-trick moved from the improbable to the possible. One final gallop would be her moment of truth. It wasn't like brilliant work, but it was good work, you know, which is what you probably expect for a horse that's, that's worked over that ground. But in keeping with this week's theatre, Team Diva wouldn't confirm if their star would take centre stage on Tuesday. What's your gut feeling? Um, I'll wait for Lee's decision, that's all. The nation's question was answered when Lee Friedman announced the decision exclusively on seven. You've got until five o'clock to pay up. Have you done it already? No, but I'm about to. She'll be paid up to run. Uh, give her a shot at history. No horse has won three cups. Peter Pan tried in 1935, but he finished that race in 14th. If the Diva can achieve the unattainable, it will be the greatest effort from a racehorse since Farlap notched victories on all four days of the carnival 75 years ago. And if she wins, she'll bring the house down and she'll have the historians talking about it forever. Bookmakers are poised for the plunge. It's expected we'll wager millions of dollars nationwide on her fate. And if the diva does the unthinkable, it will rank alongside our magical sporting moments. This is a famous victory, a magnificent performance. Don Bradman, greatest batsman the world has known. In the end, the diva camp couldn't deny this mighty mare the chance to join our sporting elite. transcends racing and it's uh, about as big as we've ever had in Australian sport. Dylan Howard, Seven News. And Seven reporter Michael Felgate joins us live from Flemington and with him is Maccabi Diva's owner Tony Santic. The question that everyone had been hoping would be answered yes was answered yes this morning and with me is Tony. Tony tell me is it a relief to finally get that out of the way? Oh yes it is. There's been 20 million people taken off my shoulders now so it is a great relief. The build-up this week has been amazing. How has it been, the owner of the most talked about and seen horse in the nation? Oh, it was great, really, but uh, there's been a lot of pressures. Probably everyone understands on whether we're going to run or won't we, and uh, the right decision was made by Lee today, and uh, the mayor worked great this morning, and uh, hopefully everything will go well. The, the track's uh, good to dead, and we'll have a good side on Tuesday. Well, the whole of the nation's going to be with you on Tuesday. We all wish Maccabi Diva luck in. Lee Friedman's luck continued. He won the derby. Benicio a few hours later. We'll have more of that in sport later on. Thanks, Michael. Stay with us. Still to come on 7 News, images of anger as millions march across the Middle East. And Melbourne Musos strike the right chord in a world record attempt. 70 volunteer firefighters have mounted a massive effort to control a fire in a huge stockpile of tyres at Broadford to the north of Melbourne. The warehouse containing the tyres was an inferno when the first units arrived. It took four and a half hours to bring it under control. But the fire had already ripped through about 2,000 of the tyres awaiting recycling. Clouds of acrid smoke forced the evacuation of nearby businesses and homes. They'll all have to wait to see if they broke the previous record of 1,322. That'll be revealed in Channel 7's Guinness World Records show. But they did raise $5,000 for the Peter McCallum Cancer Institute, so that is great, Tim. Time for sport now and a scare for our cricketers. Yes, Jen, Justin Lang is in doubt for the first test. Details next, plus Dragon Slayer Benicio causes a derby boil over. And fight night at the Dome. This sport report is brought to you by Shaver Shop. Trainer Lee Friedman's great spring continues just hours after announcing his champion mayor McIvy Diva would run in Tuesday's Melbourne Cup. He took out the $1.5 million Victoria Derby with Benicio, a horse he part owns. 
Good evening. Overcast today, but no rainfall to speak of. In the suburbs, at least, there have been some good falls in the north of the state. It's been quite warm, too. 23.9 today at 10 past midday and currently about 18 degrees. Had a strong and gusty northerly in this uh, area here uh, through the morning. Here's the big cloud mass that's come through. 14 millimetres recorded at Swan Hill, 12 at Charlton and about uh, 8 at Bendigo. A good fall of 7 millimetres up at Yarrawonga as well. That's going to clear to the east tomorrow. This high is going to slip through the south first, so weather starts to stabilise from tomorrow. In fact, the high will settle itself down in the Tasman by Monday start to bring us some warm and orderly so it'll give us a fine start to the week at least. The next change won't come until about uh, later Thursday with that next system. Interstate tomorrow, a couple of showers developing with that system in Perth tomorrow, fine Adelaide, Can Hobart and Melbourne. There will be that rain from that cloud though in Canberra and up into Sydney. A fine day for Brisbane, some storms about in Alice Springs and Darwin. Now for our state, the rain that's been in the north today will push out to the east of the state in the morning. There'll be some showers and drizzle in the south but that's going to clear to a sunny afternoon. For the suburbs, a little bit of rain about tonight, mostly in the northern suburbs. Some morning drizzle, perhaps then a mostly sunny afternoon, with temperatures back to the low 20s. Uh, on the bays, the southwest of southerlies up to about uh, 20 knots through the afternoon. That's going to keep the temperature a fraction lower than today. So for Melbourne, a mild night, 14 and uh, 21 degrees, a little bit uh, cooler for tomorrow. A little bit of rain tonight, some morning drizzle, it'll be clearing up. We'll have a fine, mostly sunny afternoon. Should be delightful. Let's look at the seven days, then, including the cup. It's going to stay fine right through until Wednesday. At this stage, 28 degrees for the cup, 32 on uh, Wednesday, 32 also on Thursday, but a late change developing for Oaks Day at this stage. A bit hard to say how much rainfall there might be with it, but it's certainly some sort of a change because Friday and Saturday we are expecting a couple of showers to be about and some cooler onshore winds as well. But generally a very, very fine warm cup carnival. A milder day for us tomorrow, Jen. We should have some lovely sunshine through the afternoon though. Sounds great. Thank you very much, Rob. Finally, a reminder to move your clocks forward one hour before going to bed. Daylight saving starts tomorrow at 2am and this year we'll stay on Eastern Summer Time for an extra week until the end of the Commonwealth Games. And that's 7 News for now. From the team, have a lovely evening and good night.